Okay, so in order to understand the Anki algorithm, you can divide the two phases of learning in Anki as the learning phase and the review phase, or the graduated phase. So first we're gonna start with the learning phase, and this is basically what happens when you first add cards to Anki and you're starting to learn what the cards are. So let's go over a couple of the settings that you'll see on Anki in the learning phase when you're determining how you want your learning phase to pan out. So in our case, we're gonna have three steps in the learning phase, and we're going to have these settings for graduating interval, easy interval, and starting ease. And none of this will make any sense right now, but as we go through the examples, this will start to make sense. So let's say you put your first brand new flashcard in Anki, and you have it here. When you first enter it into Anki, it's a learning card because you're still learning about what the content of the card is. So pretend this card is really hard and you hit again. So whenever you're in the learning phase and you hit again, you automatically go to the very first step. And our very first step says 15 minutes. That means that when you hit again, you're gonna have to wait 15 minutes and then the card will be shown to you again. So anytime you hit again in any of these steps that we go through, you're gonna automatically go to step one. But let's pretend that this card is not that hard and that you actually know the card. So it's good. So pretend you're seeing this card, it's the very first card, it's still in the learning phase, but instead of hitting again, it's not that hard, so you hit good. So whenever you hit good in the learning phase, you move on to the next step. So instead of step one, we'll move on to step two. And that means instead of having to wait 15 minutes to see the card again, we're gonna wait a day before we see the card again. So you'll see the card for the very first time because you just added it to Anki. Instead of hitting again, you have hit good. You're gonna wait one day. And one day later, you'll see the card again and it's still a learning card. Now, you're still seeing this card and it's a learning card and you know the answer again, so you hit good one more time. Now remember, whenever you hit good, you move on to the subsequent step. So before we were on step two, but now when we hit good, We'll move on to step three, which says that we'll wait three days before we see the card again. So three more days will pass, and then we'll see the card again, and it's still a learning card. And you see the card, and you know the answer, and you hit good one more time. Now, this time when you hit good, there are no more steps in your learning steps phase. So since in this case, we've only set three steps in our learning phase, that means that since there's no more step, the card will graduate. And once it graduates, it becomes a review card here. Now, how much time passes between when you your learning card becomes a graduating card? How much time do we have to wait? Well, this is something called a graduating interval. And basically what that means is that after you see the learning card and you've reached the last learning step, you set how much time you want to pass before you see the card again as a review card instead of a learning card. And once it becomes a review card, it starts to accumulate or stop accumulating ease. And this is something that you don't have to worry about now. This is something I'll explain in the review phase in that video. But basically what that means is that all review cards are going to have an ease associated with them. And this ease can change depending on whether the card is hard for you or easy for you, depending on what option you hit. Now let's start this whole process all over again, but pretend instead of hitting good the very first time, this card is super easy for you. You don't need to go through all these learning steps to start to learn the card. You just wanna graduate it immediately. In that case, you hit easy. So pretend this card is super easy. It says like, what's the color of the sky? And you're like, oh, the sky is blue. That's easy. I don't need to learn that. Wait all this time to learn that. I know that the sky is blue. It's a super simple card. So in this case, this card will immediately graduate and become a review card the next time you see it. Now how much time passes in between when you hit easy and when you see it again, but this time as a review card is determined by your easy interval setting. And in this case, we set our easy interval to eight days. So you see the card for the very first time, it asks what color is the sky, you know it's blue, so you hit easy, then you're gonna wait eight days and you'll see the card again but this time it won't be a learning card, it'll go straight to become a graduated review card and it will have ease associated with it again. So why is our ease 250%? What does that mean? Well, in your settings, you can determine what you want your starting ease to be. 
and I believe the default setting for Anki is 250% and I think that's fine. Now, 250%, like I said, this can change depending on whether you hit good in the future, hard in the future, or easy once it's a review card, but this only affects review cards. These learning cards don't have any ease associated with them, so you don't have to worry about any ease problems. And this is why I'm not really gonna talk about more about what ease is until we talk about review cards and um, what that inter and what the algorithm looks like once your cards are already in the review phase, not the learning phase. Okay, so this hopefully makes a little bit of sense, but now you wanna learn how do you actually change these settings in your Anki. So let's go over to Anki here, and if you click on this little options button, you can click on options, and you can see all these settings here. So like I said, you can determine how many steps you want in your learning phase. So we have three steps here, and unfortunately this is all, all in minutes, so 15 minutes, then we set it to 1440 minutes, which is one day, and then 4320 minutes, which is three days. Then we set our graduating interval here to six days, our easy interval to eight days, and our starting ease to 250%. But again, you can change all these settings depending on what works best for you. But for medical school, a lot of people use these settings that I have here because it makes the most sense for when you are studying something for step one, which might be long-term and when, when you want to learn the best. So these are, you know, if you wanna go into the science behind it, you can check out other sources, but these are definitely very good settings, I believe for medical school, if you're using Anki, especially if you're studying for step one or step two. So again, here are our settings here, here are the steps, the graduating interval, and the easy interval, the starting ease that we went over here. And then this is where you actually change the steps. You can always add more steps in the learning phase. You can add less steps. You can change how much time each phase of the each step is when you're studying. So for example, if I had only made this two steps, then I would have just had one day here and this three days would not have happened. But again, you can change all that. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you need any clarification for any of these steps and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Thank you.